Hi, this video is going to help you to add or subtract fractions, um, particularly ones that have different denominators, like the example we can see here. Um, the difficulty that most people have with this is remembering the rules for adding and subtracting fractions. Um, and the method that I'm going to show you, the one using lists, um, is hopefully going to make it a little bit more clear and simple, but it might take a little bit longer, um, depending on how good you are with your times tables. Um, so the basic problem is this. Um, I'm going to cover up that question quickly and just give you a simpler question. Okay, let's have a look at. Um, let's say we've got a circle and I split it into fifths, five bits. So each bit is one fifth, and I shade in one fifth. That's that much, and then I shade in another fifth. So in total now I've shaded in a fifth plus a fifth and most people can see, yeah, that's fine. I understand that is two fifths. I'm counting up the fifths, that's two of them. If I then take another one, so I had two fifths and add on another fifth, I get three fifths. So that sort of adding of fractions is really straightforward and we can do the same thing with, um, let's have a look at quarters, okay, one quarter plus another quarter makes two quarters, sometimes you simplify that to make a half, but let's just stick with two quarters for the moment, and then add another quarter is three quarters. So you can see from both of those examples, what happens is that when you're adding fractions, um, provided they've got the same number on the base here, you just add the top number. So 2 plus 1 is 3 fifths. 2 plus 1 is 3 quarters. Because we're working in quarters here, because we're working in fifths up here. But if I try and mix that up, if I try and ask you to do, let's say, um, from the top diagram there, okay, I'm going to take that first 1 fifth. There it is. Okay, and then from this diagram here, I'm going to take um, that blank quarter, so I've got one quarter and one fifth. Now you can't count them up, they're different things. It's not like the first question where we were just simply counting up fifths, or the second question where we were counting up quarters. Now there's a mixture of them, and trying to describe a mixture of those two fractions is really quite tricky. It's almost like saying, right, I went to the shop and I bought some, uh, you know, five apples and three bananas and trying to put those together, apples and bananas. Well, they're different things. These are different things. These are quarters. We could count up quarters. That would be fine. We could count up fifths. But a mixture of them is more difficult. So what we need to do is we need to find a way to turn this problem, one quarter plus one fifth, into a problem which we can do. Okay? And that's the whole basis of this lists process. So here you can see, we'll go back to the original question, um, two fifths plus three sevenths, slightly more complicated, but the same issue applies. So we've got different fractions. This one is counting up fifths, this one is counting up sevenths. Trying to put them together is an issue, it's a problem. So we have to have a little method for dealing with that. Well, one thing we can do, and we know we can do this, is we can write out fractions which are the same as two fifths and fractions which are the same as three sevenths. And in fact, if I can find a pair of fractions which we could add together, then that's going to that's going to be the way we're going to do it. Okay, it's going to be the way that we can complete this addition and we can get an answer. So my method goes like this: you take your two fractions and you start to write a list of the first fraction. Now this is actually easier than it seems. If you just take the top number and go up in that, so two, go up in the two times table: four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, like that, okay, and you could carry on that list as long as you needed to, but let's do the bottom here, 5 times table, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, like that, okay, and if we have a look at this one here, the top number is going up in 3, so we go 6, 9, 12, adding on 3 each time, 15, 18, 21, and the bottom number is going up in sevens, so we go up in sevens. 
There we go. And all I've done there is write a list of fractions, the same as two-fifths, and a list of fractions, the same as three-sevenths. But the advantage now is that I can see in those lists a pair of fractions that I could add together. So I'm looking for a pair of fractions that have the same denominator. Remember, what we said was that when they've got the same denominator, we can add them up. It's just like counting up how many there are. So how many fifths are there? How many fourths, quarters are there? But when we've got a mixture, it's more difficult. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking to see if I can find a pair of fractions which are in the same units, if you like. They're 30 fifths. So this is 14 35ths and this is 15 35ths. So I can count them up, I can put them together. So I'm going to write down, instead of 2 fifths, I'm going to use this version of 2 fifths, which is 14 out of 35. And instead of 3 sevenths, I'm going to use this version of 3 sevenths, which is 15 over 35. And now I can add those together because they're out of the same number. The denominator is the same. So we're looking at this, we're counting in 30 fifths. And how many have we got? We've got 14 here and we've got 15 here. That's 29 in total. So the answer to this original question, 2 fifths plus 3 sevenths, is 29 out of 35. Let's try a subtraction using the same method. And this one will be a bit quicker because you know what I'm going to do now. So we're going to start with 1 third and 2 sevenths. And we're going to write a list of fractions the same. They've got different denominators, so we need to do this list method. OK, let's just zoom in on that a little bit and make it a bit clearer. OK, um, so this one, one third, I'm counting up in ones on the top. Like that. And I'm counting up in threes on the bottom of the fractions for the denominators. And those are all my fractions that are the same as one third. So I write a little equals in between them to say they're the same. And then I'm going to do the same for this two sevenths. So going up in twos, you get 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And going up in sevens, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. Okay. So what I'm looking for is a pair of fractions which have the same denominator, a pair that I can add together. Well, let's look through. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 7, 14, 21. There, 20 once. And I always circle them. 20 once is what we're looking for. We can add them together. We can count them up. So this one third is really 7 20 once. That's an alternate way of writing the same fraction. And this 2 sevenths is really 6 out of 21, 6 20 ones, if I write it in that fashion. This time I'm doing a subtraction, so this is going to be fairly straightforward. I'm working in 20 ones, and I've got 7 of them, take away 6 of them, which is 1 of them. So my answer for that question is 1 out of 21. So the key things to remember are, use a list for each of the fractions that you are working with. Find pairs of fractions which have the same denominator and then add or subtract them, keeping the denominator the same. 